Hello everyone, today in this video I will be showing you how to use Eurostack. To begin, let's create a bucket. Firstly, we need to choose or create a namespace. Then, we need to choose or create a user. Lastly, we need to enter a bucket name and we need to choose if we want to have this bucket immutable or locked. After your bucket is created, you will land on the bucket page. Here, you can view information about your bucket and change settings like the immutable state of your bucket. Now, let's go to our bucket user. Here we can do a few things, like setting a storage limit for this user. Below of the storage limit, we can see the buckets this user has access to. Below that, we can also see the access keys of this user, and also the connection endpoints. Next, let's go to the namespaces. Here, we can view all the namespaces in our Eurostack account. Now, let's connect our bucket with S3 Browser. First, create a new account. Choose a name for the account, and then set the account type to S3 Compatible Storage. Now we need to enter the connection endpoint. We can find this as well as the credentials in the user overview. For the best results you want to pick the endpoint which is closest to you. You can view our data center locations on our website. After we've done that, we can fill in our access key and secret. And that was it, we have successfully connected to our bucket. Now let's test it out by creating a new folder and uploading some files. Alright, that was it for this video. If you have any more questions about Eurostack, feel free to comment them down below.